and numbers must be Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah we're, we're, it's like trying to like translate pig Latin for yeah. us. We're like, well, m maybe it means uh, holy warrior, but no, it's, right? it's bring me the ruin. You know, yeah. it's like completely different. There you go. It's ha having an inboard translator, I like it. Oh, that's oh well. You know, I'm also gonna be translating some of these facets, and I'll tell you one of them that I don't like is that Dawnbreaker has the gleaming hammer facet. Uh, tell, tell me why you don't like this, Atomo. Because, well, to be fair, neither facet is that good in the laning phase, so I'm not going to hold that against it. But Gleaming Hammer is very, 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 very difficult to use. Because in fights, it's like this tiny AoE that does ha it has impact. If you're in the AoE, that's amazing. You get heals and all the good stuff. But it's so hard to use it. And a lot of times when you throw the hammer, you just want to draw it back. It's not, it doesn't help you farm faster. It doesn't help you in in a lot of things. And the other facet makes you use your ultimate more, which is massively useful. Like, I love that part. So, not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah, Maybe rest... if you have, like, mm. some significant, like, mm. lockdown, it would make sense. I don't know, like, pairing it with uh, Magnus, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Could could be something, but yeah. yeah, I guess guess without that solid form of lockdown, it's a bit more difficult to use. Yeah, I mean, who is this lockdown? This one, right? Like, may, it's you can maybe tell Kinesis or throw a CK stun there, there for like two or three seconds, cool. But whatever, I I don't like it at all. I really don't like that uh, that facet. Some people have made guides about how good it is. I've never been convinced. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm <laughs> Don. Oh, Russell's asking. He's like Don four or five. Wait, Come on, bro. Which one is it? I mean, it has it to has be Don, right? One. Ah, uh, Kadera playing the mind games, but uh, my game is proven as both teams are gonna run into each other again around the same area. All the okay. smokes break. Who's oh. gonna lead the charge first? Up to the high ground. Kadera hit from the oh, first stun. Okay. Snake comes out. Bold man. Not a massive amount of damage, just the uh, Illuminate to get the heal. There's going to be the disruption, going to start things off. A nice that she comes in for the CK, makes a bit of more space here for the Doom, but 39 will still be going down. Mm. First blood found there from Myla, and he will fall. I changed the name, I, I forgot how to pronounce it for a second there, but Cardi will still end up dying. And it is going to be two for one, going the way there of Mansfer. Mansaf. Really now? Should have seen that. Yes, coming. that. All right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. There you go. Man, <laughs> that's the one. Uh, well, it's just a uh, you know, good opening for them. Even though it was it looked like it could have gone either way. The thing is, level one doom is not exactly that useful. You go out in the scorched earth. It's a bit of damage, but it doesn't really. It takes a while for it to add up. On the other side, you have Nyx Assassin as well as Centaur with their stuns. It's a big thing that they can work with, and of course, Medusa is just unkillable with uh, the amount of mana she had. So, not many good choices for them. Eh, makes sense, as yeah. there is a disconnect. Holy crap, we have been here for 40 minutes and we have seen one one minute of game time. It's, it's pretty good, we've seen, yeah, wow. That's what we like. Yeah. Especially when you consider the fact that the, uh, our first series of the day, the entire total game time for all two games was what, 27 minutes? Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> All right, let's like, look, all right, he's back. He's back. He's ready to go. All right. Mm -hmm. Game resume. And it looks like we might just see his two, two split on the bounties unless Kidao wants to uh, really try and compete for this top one. It actually just denies the top river bounty rune. Fair enough. No, it doesn't. Out the hands. I mean, if you think you can't reach it, why not, right? Why, why would you? Mm -hmm. I think he probably could have, to be honest with you. Actually, no, he, he was going up against the Shadow Demon, so Nagato would have just disrupted him. So, yeah, there's no, no chance to say. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, so, mid lane is going to be the Quap versus the Coddle. Which, Quap is probably Coddle's favorite matchup lore wise, you know, but uh, in terms of actual game, both should be fine. If you're having trouble, you can blink away. You should be able to farm relatively safely. I think I still favor the Coddle, but it's a generally a farm fest on this one. What's, what's the backstory of the lore then? I, I, there was once upon a time I tried to do a deep read into all the lore for Dota, but there was just too much, so I never got oh. that one. Uh, Carl is a massive pervert, and Queen of Pain is hot, so that's why she's his favorite. I can't tell if you're making that up or if that's actually canon. That, uh, half of it is canon. He is a major pervert. I don't know if that would make her his favorite, but I mean, 
Let's be fair, you know. Mushy he's logically, you know. Yeah. 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 He's as old. Yeah. The bat is as <laughs> old as light, you know. So, oh, right. nothing. He's like, yeah, what's going on here? Come on, guys. Well, what, what, what's hey. with the pauses? He does have twenty. He's, he's saying he has pass, packet loss, by the way. Yeah, that's no mm. good. And he says and that the Gartney air... just loves chucking out the uh, the question marks, you know, the classic. By the way, I love that the two teams are very familiar with each other because they keep making fun. Like, uh, mm -hmm. they didn't say, he didn't write packet the way that, uh, not sorry, the doom, he responds, he said, you should write it with a B because that's how we say it in Arabic, you know. Uh, we don't say P, we say B. So it's not parking, it's barking. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. But is that but only when you translate it to English or is that how it's actually pronounced native language? No, no, that's just that's just our accent. It's very thick. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just got to clarify, you know. <laughs> you don't you don't know until you ask and, and someone teaches you. But oh, we do have a uh, another Isla. pause here. This time is Isla dis uh, DC. Packet Ali. Uh, so they're saying that there's a lot of packet loss being happening. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean. Can't be uh, affording any time to reset any lobbies or anything like that. You guys just gonna have to play through the lag. It's been going on long enough. Yeah. V oh, oh, he's got his VPN for his pub game. I'm not sure what exactly. I would. They're, they're moving fast. And I was I was listening to you talk. Oh. Uh, sorry, oh. I know it's hard to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to talk about the lays for a bit here. So top lane, Doom and Rubik versus. The Shadi and Medusa. This should generally be a farm fest for both sides. I don't think you're killing Medusa unless you can get the uh, creep that mana burns. Maybe you can kill Shadi, but it's like, eh. At the same time, like going for the Rubik's a bit risky. It's just farm fest overall. I feel like top lane is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I have all of them. 100% Nagato oh, would be the one ooh. most likely to die. Oh, oh. On the mid, quite a lot of harassment coming out there. Standard mm. long range pokes and prods. Obviously, uh, the quad going for zero points into the Shadow Strike because yep. everyone loves to tell me just how trash this ability is nowadays. It's. I'm, I won't do that. Oh, they actually kill uh, Gluttony in the bottom lane. I want to say that of the lanes, I think bottom, even though Nyx Assassin is kind of a garbage support, with a Centaur who's maxing out double edge, you actually, you know, you have a lot of stuns and lockdown between the two of them. It's pretty. And Dawnbreaker's really, she has to be close to do damage as. Damn. Okay, another right. disconnect. Uh, he, that wasn't even a pause disconnect. That was an actual. He just DC'd and the game paused mm. in response to that, which is always yeah. worrying. Um, yeah. Saying something about a camera? I don't yeah, know. Uh, he's saying, Where's the camera? 39. Really now? And sure I'm trying to coming. read that word because it's like, I'm, I haven't read Arabic in a while, so it's like, I'm trying to remember what these words mean. But... Oh, he, oh, the call saying is unplayable. He's like, I can't play it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He's well, like. He's like. Have to. He's like. He's saying. He's like. I'm. He's saying. I'm dying. I can't play this. Well. Oh man. Okay. We're going again. Well, I mean, like, unless they're willing to forfeit out of the tournament, they don't really have any choice. You know. Yep. <laughs> you're just. You're just gonna have to do it. Um. I mean, it's, it's interesting. I mean, you were actually saying that they do have a very mixed team, don't they? For yes. All different countries and stuff so it does make sense that of all the teams we've cast so far these guys would have a brunt of the connection issues um mm -hmm. unfortunately it is just showing itself here but what can you do eh, nothing you can do you can just play and hope for the best here so yeah bomb lane i at least ck is farming well but the dawn breaker oh ooh. radiance top okay. tower is under 39 attack. caught underneath his own tier one tower there i guess there was just no rubik to help out he had to go back to base to regen. But at the very least, Kido does make up for it and TP's mid to fill up the bottle there of the Quop, so uh, gain something out of it at the very least. Oh, another disconnect again. This ain't good. And the problem, by the way, the problem is that the team that's disconnecting is the one that is not as multicultural. I mean, you know, yeah. they're, it's the one that's most of them are, are Jordanians. It's advanced esports that has like four different nationalities. So. Yeah, I. I actually just noticed that, like, as soon as the Knicks disconnected, I was like, hang about, no, yeah. we cast these guys earlier, yeah. they weren't disconnected this much, <laughs> and now all of a sudden, yeah, they are, yeah, this is very peculiar. Well, I like it, because Advanced Esports might be the tougher one, as, oh, where's the hidden camera? Ah, 
Okay, and I I was like, let me let me restart. Okay, okay, we're gonna do that then. <laughs> uh, can't can't put up my toilet emoji. Unfortunately, they won't be able to hear us. <laughs> <I'm sad. laughs> All right, so uh, so far it's looking like it's going pretty damn well as we expected for the uh, team Mansaf, as they have mm -hmm. two of the top CS on their side. Mid lane is going very well though for advanced, but I say very well. It's even as you kind of expect. I mean, not even he's slightly ahead, but so what? It's it's a farm fest for the two sides. Yeah, just a few <laughs> extra CS and denies there, but not really anything overwhelming. Um, you see as well, like the Quop not even putting a value point into Shadow it's Strike, so just bad. completely skipping it, just 0, 2, and 2. It's so bad. It's, really ne it's never, never worth it, you know? It's like the damage, it was kind of worth it when it gave you health, because then you can be like, yeah, well, I get some health out of it. I put two points, 20 health every three seconds adds up. But now it's just like, yeah, it's just, it's not. The damage too little. Yeah, I mean, is it is it not even worth it just having like the slow if you go and go for a gank onto one of the lanes? Level one slow is twenty percent. Eh, I not do it. Go on, we translate as hard at work. What's it say? Uh, wait, wait. Is it, yeah. is it the minus fifty about his double down? <laughs> is he still mad? Yes, he is. Like he took minus fifty yeah, so he can play in this uh, tournament. When he says this game is so nice. And uh, 39 is like, MMR is the whole thing, the only thing that matters in this world. And then Quap is saying, ah, oh, come on, guys, it's easy. Oh, shit, it's like, they've let letters know. Uh, I wish we could turn back admin. Are you there? Oh, they're asking for the admin? Okay, this is, this is looking serious now. I mean, it has been like, what, eight or so DCs and we're yes. three and a half minutes into the game. It's not boding well. It, it took a while for people to join, and now, and then there was the penalty time on the wrong side, and oh, now as people DCing, oh. this is turning into a bit of a nightmare final series. Uh, some terrible translation, so you know, <laughs> 90s rock star coming back, casting the game. This is not how we want it. <laughs> Have you ever seen the show IT Crowd? I've seen a couple of episodes of it. It's uh, not bad. Father! Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, so there, there was just like one skit where the the, the mm. woman Jen says yeah. that she can speak French or Italian mm. or something, but she oh. can't. So she has to get a, a laptop program to translate for them. Uh -huh. But it breaks midway through their meeting, so she's just having to be like, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba, too loud, da ba da ba. She's just like fake translating, and the other guys get really <laughs> mad at her. <laughs> she keeps like insulting him and stuff. It's really funny. Mm. But you, you're translating. Not that bad. That's what mm. I'm trying to say. At all. Uh, 30, 39 is something. asking, where is he? I think he's asking where he is originally from. And, if, and WCYD, that's easy. That is, what can you do? Oh, mm -hmm. I know that one. Easy. Disconnect difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am enjoying that these guys are mm. at least, you know, having fun with it, I suppose. But, oh, God, I let connect and immediately disconnect. <laughs> Yeah, and Doom is telling it, call. He's like, "Listen, you should be happy. You don't have any hero counters in this one." <laughs> oh my lord! I love it. I did. The I mean, pound I, stream. I did work on the translator in an actual esports event a couple of years ago. That was fun, you know. But the writing, the text one, text because text is so differently interpreted than words. It's not as easy. Uh, uh, and also because of the dialect. The Arabic is there's so many different dialects and they really can mean different words, so I'm like trying my best here. I, mean, I, uh, I, I believe you, mate. I, I appreciate the effort mm. you're putting into the translations. Mm. Uh, and I'm sure all the lazy lazy gentlemen at home also appreciate know what the hell's mm. going on. Yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure somebody, yeah the, the, our viewers, by the way guys, for everyone who's here, we do appreciate you being here. It is, you know there's a lot of games, so you're taking your time to be with us. It, it, it's meaningful, it means a lot, you know. Yeah, we are your cast of choice. Oh. This is where every person in the stream has actually got every single stream open. Just yes. Just like different tabs. <laughs> All <laughs> muted. got our one in the corner <laughs> muted. <laughs> How sad. Well, oh, well that's, that's their loss. As By the way, mid lane, I did not expect the Coddle to be this far behind the Queen of Pain. I thought this was a big Queen of Pain favorite matchup, but it's not as I love to buy back is really su struggling. I do think that in terms of last hit, I think he wouldn't do that well. I mean, in terms of like right click, last hit, but if 
can't illuminate would, would equalize. Yeah. Well, I suppose he's got he's got his third point into illuminate now. Mm. Um, he doesn't actually have that many stacks to be honest with you. He only has two double stacks, and that yeah. is it. I was kind of thinking he'd have more already, but you know he's going to start farming that stuff up soon as well. Huh. And this was one of them. Oh, look, uh, of course, you all do have Nagato who can help you out, so that could be the one. Looks like Nagato might be thinking there's a ward there, even though that wasn't. The, I think Kidao just walked into it and blocked it from uh, spawning. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So. The old classic body block that always works. Mm. Is that. I mean, you play a support. Fight huh? down bottom. Yeah. So there's a little cluster going on right now. Russell's getting low, but he backs out. Oh. Instead, Isle. Uh, Isla. Oh, Isla? That's <laughs> gonna keep changing his name. Uh, well, yeah, there's. Pale misses. You can see Gluttony is. He's not really sure what to do. This is one of the worst things when you play Dawnbreaker and you can't approach and you can't harass and you're not the best at like stacking and pulling things like that. Uh, however, Coop co is gonna be level 6 very soon, so this is gonna give them a lot of killing power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're still taking a bit of damage. I just realized that. Yeah, well, I was going to ask what the question he was going to ask before he got distracted, but then I think he's about to ask it, and then I distracted you, and then Kido dies. Yeah, Kido's dead. Uh, one nice thing that happened to Quap in recent years with the, her ultimate. I don't know if you remember this, but. Oh, sorry, forget about that. They're fighting. I love. Okay, TP out. No he's cancel. not going to get it. Yeah, no, no way. He, he needed to channel that like a, like a second and a half ago to cancel it. Um, yeah, so Quap, if you guys, if anyone remembers, her ultimate used to be one hit that does damage. Like when you use, throw it out, it'd be like instant, you know, like a finger of death. But now it's more like multiple levels, like over a second of damage, which is really good against someone like a Nyx Assassin, since you don't get that big reflection anymore, and you're actually able to hit him with like 90% of the damage. Ooh, I think you also didn't have the pushback as well. Oh, it was yeah. Just... Yeah, it was, it was literally just raw damage, Radiant that's all the spell was, scanning. which is... Yeah, it's alright, I suppose. Max TP's coming back in here, oh, Nagato it. will secure the Wizard Room, but 100% he is dead as a result, but he doesn't really care, he did his job. He can try and hope for a deny on the Ancients, it's not gonna happen though. Yeah, if that, there was no way he was gonna... I was like, if he gets a deny there, you might as well just give him the game just now. But, uh, oh dear, 30, 30, 39 dies. That stuff. That's, uh, that's rotation rough one. comes in from I love to buy. Actually, wait, wasn't I love to buy back the off lane in the last game? He was. I've only just noticed they've, sw they've swapped it around. Mm. No, Ru wasn't Russell their off lane? No, I'm pretty sure Russell was their off lane. Oh. Yeah, I love to buy back with them. I could have sworn yeah. it was their way around. Never mind. Mm. You know more. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Kado though, he's in danger, he's trying to juke his way out of this one, but unfortunately Bam. just too much control and damage and it's a double kill going the way of Russell. They get a D ward as well, it's going very nicely so far. 3,000 gold lead sub 8 minutes in, it's a good start here for Manta. If you're advanced esports, you really need to start get working on your DDoS game, because this, you know, 5 versus 4 looks pretty good, but 5 versus 5 looking really tough for them. However, to be fair, we haven't seen the Quap get too active, and she's kind of your strongest here, so maybe she can make some space for the team. Yeah, kind of has to soon. Yes. Um, has the Dagon queued up, so that's going to be, you know, straight up rush of the raw damage, but... You're still a long, long ways away from that, like 8, 1500, yeah, he's still like 2,600 gold away from having this day gone, so it'll be a fair amount of time. Can't really wait for that before you go and make a start, you know, more ganks in the side lanes. Um, and I'm seeing this twice today, so I'm not sure how common it is, but again we're seeing a Doom go for the drums build. Uh, okay, a little surprising to be attack. honest with you. Feels like a classic build, like years yeah. and years ago. You used to see do, uh, drums on Doom quite a lot, yeah. But definitely has dropped out of favor. Radiant's Maybe it's like I don't know. Um, I wonder what. Uh... Oh, Dawnbreaker, by the way, did not go. For... Of course, makes sense. If you're not, if you don't have the other facet, Solar Charge, you don't actually want Luminosity early because it doesn't add a whole lot overall. You want to go yeah. top? Uh, Taz is kind of full mana, he's got 700 of it. Don't know if this is a kill for you, but you have three people, they could get it. It's right, gonna wrong. be hard. It's well, very hard kill. A couple of team rotation. The scan actually just connects on towards the cop hiding oh. the trees, so they know that he's here. I don't know 
If they oh. can have the first damage, get the kill straight away. Spike Cap is up against Stun Jesus! Ooh. A hit from the Vendetta takes down a half HP. I think if Taz was just a little bit sooner going for the old entangle and then there would have been the impale, that probably would have been a kill, but quick reaction so the pop get him out of there. I think Quap would have been able was gonna was like gonna use her blink the moment she sees the animation, so probably would have been a hard entangle no matter what. As mid lane Kidal dodges the illuminate. But will they able to turn this into a kill? Doesn't seem like it. I'd love to buy back. Oh, walks back in. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'd love, love to buy back. Probably will just bring down Kado here. Just constantly slow him up with the old solar vines. How many? And he will die. Quop is nearby, but unfortunately can't really change the outcome of this one. So actually, Russell just turns up. The TP from 39. They're bringing the numbers, but a stampede yep. to quickly oh. disengage. He just drops a ha ha mid team fight. Uh, okay, these guys are having some serious fun right now. I think Kidal dodged like three Illuminates and he still ended up dying in that situation. As one problem, as we go later in the game, I don't feel like you have enough damage to deal with Radiant's this Medusa at all. And you have no mana bird? I don't know how Taz is gonna, gonna suffer at all. He's just gonna have the best time of his life. Let's go that way. Mm, but he is just 5k gold lead 11 minutes in. All three cores top of the network chart, all supports above the enemy supports as well, especially uh, Isla, quite up there. And obviously again working in towards the uh, Dagon himself, and he is only 1300 gold away from it. Exactly oh. the same distance actually as the Queen of Pain, which is oh. really surprising. CK? He's okay. plus one though to try and go for this. Yeah, no way. No, he's doing it all by himself here. Uh, mid lane though, we might be having a kill here, and we do. Kidel loses his life yet again. Can dodge the illuminate this time round, but the CK though, he's actually stepped out the safety of the tower, and immediately in comes the Nyx just to secure the kill. And this gets worse and worse here for the side of advanced esports here at Tomo. Like, we were kind of hoping this was going to be the closest series of the day, and unfortunately, Despite all of the connection problems that Man's, uh, Manzap has been having, it's mm. not quite going too well. No, it's not. And the Doom also, it's like the Doom pick is... It's so good against so many heroes, except the Medusa. The one hero who doesn't care at all about any of the Radiant's any of his, his ultimate, attack. basically. And he's going to go for like the farming build, Radiant's maxing out the Devourer, hoping that maybe he can recover, but they're so far behind. They need to fight. I mean, they don't need to fight, but that would be nice. I have to. Oh, Hyla with the three man impale. He is still going to die, but mm. hey, at least he got a decent ravage off just before he ended up falling down there. He'll take it. One nice thing about that is now you can also use your ultimate on Dawnbreaker without, with impunity. You don't have to worry about the next assassin stopping it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very, very, very. We do have a two man what smoke is... here right now from Manzap. Let's see who they get try and find right now. It's down to the south side, Russell's trying to focus on towards Godot. Oh, and this oh. poor old Rubik can't dodge oh. that Illuminate. And he will fall down. They actually got the grab as well on towards Gluttony. You can try and jump away on towards the Hammers, but again the Illuminate connects. And it's all the damage they need. Two kills. Going the way of Manzap yet again. I don't think I've seen a single Celestial Hammer actually last even half a second on the ground, which is the biggest problem with this facet, oftentimes you throw the hammer, you just want to jump to it. You never really care about anything else. So, tough one. Uh, look at that. Isla looking for people. Okay, Isla buyback. He oh. forces out the uh, blink. There is going to be Isla ready and waiting. They've got the connection. Immediate burst. He is Ooh. just dead. Easily done. Dawnbreaker coming on in. Obviously, Spike Carapace already used. And Isla will lose his life, but regardless, he traded for he, care. he actually gave way more gold than he got from killing the Queen of Pain, which tells you the state of the game. They are so damn far ahead on the dire side. It's pretty wild. Ah, and the minus minus. On this. Okay. okay. <laughs> he said he was just maxing Devour to go for recover and a hand of Midas as well. Wouldn't be too surprised if he also picks up like a Philly stone when the tier 2s mm. come out. Just maximum greed. Yeah, he didn't. He's not going for drums. He just sw swaps, swaps completely. He's like, "This is a farming game, boys." And you're like, oh well. So, oh, buddy. well. At least he was able to use the Midas before he died, right? That, that's something. Not as good as it used to be because you, you know, you still have that two charges. So it's okay. You'd rather live than you know, use like that. Uh, that's 
TPing out in the trees. Cancels there from Russell, though. Will be another one going their way. I love buybacks. Really is starting hitting his stride now on this call. 4 0 and 6. Just finding kills continuously. And whilst the whole squad is finding all this action, they still just have an AFK farming Medusa. It isn't even completely AFK, though. It's still 2 0 and 4. So they've been there for a few fights right now. And look at the size of the stack in the triangle. Taz is going to be happy to farm that up. Oh, yes, he will. As wait, I think these they suspect the Queen of Pain is bottom. Can... Oh, see that? Nice timing. Oh, Beautifully done. Him out. Oh, able to get the blink off, though. No further catch. And obviously, being level 4 blink, the Quop will survive. Oof, mm -hmm. Russell, nearly there. Dude, did you see that? He waits for the Scream of Pain to come out before he... And then he uses it. Like, he times it so well. You know, he was kind of standing close to it. He still gets it off in time. Very, very, very impressive there. Dyer are scared. To be fair, by the way, if he had... If, these were, if he was maxing out Mana Flare, Mind Flare, he would have actually killed him. But he is maxing out Spike Carapace instead. I suppose there's just so many things to trigger Spike Carapace. Maybe it's yeah. like just having the short cooldown is going to be really impactful with the, the team fights. No, I don't, I don't 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, team fight going in the, in the air. Jungle again. Gluttony takes a lot of damage. They chuck a Doom on towards the Gato, but it's purely defensive. And they don't even end up saving anyone's life, I feel, from it, Tomo, because they're still going to lose two cores. And oh. Kado hanging around quite deep still. Jump on in from the CK, but the disruption's there to keep him alive. They still manage to bring down the Rubik. Russell is trying to run, but Gluttony will be there to finish him off. They're going to try and chase for more, and now the CK separated from his support. There's nothing that he could do, and it's four more kills going their way. They're even pinging out Gluttony, thinking about diving the tier two just to get a team wipe right now. Zyla's so leaving the charge, and they just burst him down. There it is. They're all dead. Very clever, by the way. He throws out the stun. He's like, I think if he turns around, he, you know, I'll be able to hit him because he will oh, start doing so. Oh, jump in the immediate spike carapace, though. They get the counter stun, and now the cop's in danger, has to blink away. Stolen uh, Shadow Shadow Poison, but it's only level, level one. one. Yeah, <laughs> no, not the most impactful. Now 39 does force the TP out there from uh, I Love Buybacks, but all right, nobody else dies, just a little bit of extra action. You know, that was. Uh, this is one of the problems, right? When you see the Doom going for this money printing build, he could have gone for a pipe and that would help you out a lot more. And the whole time, we're not seeing Taz. He is completely uninvolved in the game. Uh, it's so scary if you're uh, to be on advanced esports side right now. Yeah, I mean, he's going for Butterfly first item, which you'll have up in 500 gold. And then, you know, advanced esports have been struggling five versus four. And then all of a sudden, they've got a, a Manta Butterfly Medusa that just appears out of the trees and starts tearing him a new one. It's, yeah, it feels like there's not much hope, but. You know how much I love Hopping Copium, but even still, the action continues in this jungle area. They lose Gluttony, take one down towards Kado as well. It just feels like advanced esports. They're trying to reclaim their jungle, but they just they just don't have rules at all. No, you, you require more Vespain gas for sure in this one. As, oh, and 39 is probably going to be losing his life here. It's done. Yep, guess it in the end. Radiance bottom tower it's, is under attack. It's very hard to find a positive where you can be like, oh yeah, if this happens, things will go well for them. Dawnbreaker has gone for a very odd build. Phase boots into BKB on a support Dawnbreaker. Uh, I mean, mm. it'll avoid like all the damage from the Cottle Shore, Radiance which is helpful, but like we're saying, as soon as Medusa comes, your Dawnbreaker still would get torn to pieces. And Radiant are scanning. I'm not really sure what else they're going to be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, when you see support Dawnbreaker, you often see either like a Holy Locket or a Mech or an Axe Scepter or even a Pipe, like something like that, but BKB, interesting. Yeah, that is rough. Mm -hmm. Speaking of rough, I mean, another yeah. kill one towards the Rubik. Alright, I do not know what he is, uh, is he saying, he is saying Maru Butterfly and then I can't read the other word because it's censored. Ugh. Well, I mean, the Medusa's the one that's just appeared with a butterfly, so I'm going to assume it's in reference to Taz in some way. Meanwhile, 39 oh, yes. just gets ran out from the stampede, and uh, it's just the freest kill in the world. 
And now they could just comfortably sit behind this Medusa and start to go high. They could just go high ground. There's literally no reason not to. Uh, you're right, by the way. Uh, the, uh, M, the M3O is uh, Ma'o, which means he has. Uh, thanks to you so much. I was like, I was like, I know he means he's saying it, but I'm forgetting the word exactly. You are, you're right there. Well, um, yeah, but, but you know, CK's got some net worth Radiant's on him. I know this sounds like a small thing, but this is a hero that typically does quite a bit of damage. Oh, what is that? Uh, if, you know, CK plus a Sonic wave, someone do him, you could theoretically win a team fight that way. True, but to do that, I feel like you're all focusing on one person. Who yes. is that person? Is it the Cottle? Um... No, then the stampede comes out and he moves really fast. It's kind of hard. Well, because uh, I don't think you're going to be able to burst down the Medusa. Because if you focus Impossible, Medusa, yeah. then you're not focusing the Cottle. And then you just get Chakra Magic. And then all of a sudden you're completely fine. Meanwhile, the CK, like, it, it just dies so easy. Gluttony, unfortunately, turns up to the party too late. And, I mean, okay, he's taking a while. Is he going to survive? Illuminate, long range, jump. Okay, he does die. They still find the kill. Meanwhile, mid, 39 also gets caught. They, they just call GG. Yeah, they're just dying yep. one by one. It's a terrible version of Noah's Ark, and there it is. It's just the freest game in the world for Manta. It's uh, sad to see it like, going that way, 5 to 30. But uh, well, it is what it is. You know, this is a very one-sided game. We know that me and Team Manta is looking like one of the tournament. I don't know if I'd call them favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of that, right? right give, give me your idea here, Tomo. Which draft are you actually preferring here? Prepare I mean, it's very hard to go up against the uh, Crystal Main Alk duo. Nyx Assassin, we saw Idle in the previous game look like insane, insanely good. Uh, I don't feel like this is a, the best Pango game. That's the one where I'm like, eh, Pango, I think you can play around it, but everything else is just 10 out of 10 uh, for, uh, for the Dire Squad. Oh. <laughs> he said, Rep DK, what? look at Facet, and I have yes! He's gone for the Frost Dragon. Oh my. I was going to say, what? I was like, I, I was looking at the, them, I was looking from bottom to top, and yes, this Frost Dragon. Holy shit. To be fair, you're up against Timbersaw as well as Alchemist. Play a bit harder next yeah, time. Yeah, right, okay, so you're the one huffing Copium now, that's what you're telling yeah. me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I mean, this is where something miraculous happens with Tomo, and it actually yeah. works out really well. And bad. this is this is meta making. You know, yeah. we could see a new trend. Yeah. By the way, the Pango is saying he he's trying to win mid, and he says he'll lose by 15. I don't know if he means by 15 creeps or by 15 minutes or something, but he's gonna lose by 15. Okay, 15 something. That's good to know. You know, actually, I think out of every single game I've cast a DK, I've never seen this facet pick. It's always been either the fire or the acid one. I've seen it maybe once, back when it was just, when, like when facets were first introduced, someone picked it. But I, then it was all poison, then it was all fire. I, I, I've seen it like once or twice in my entire life. Okay. So, yeah, it's, um, it's the first for me. How much does it reduce it by? Not bad, actually. 50%? Uh, wait, what was it? Uh, 35. Okay. And that's and max goes, level as well. And it goes up to and goes up to 50 when you maxed out. It's not too bad, honestly. Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, <laughs> it's good for what it does, but what I, I'd rather I farm better. You know, it's like, eh, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd either prefer to farm better or I prefer to be able to push better. <laughs> but, but now you've got this. I yeah. guess you can kite better. Hey, hey, hey. For three seconds, I slightly inconvenience other people's healing. Oh, I don't think so. Ah. I mean, oh. uh, yeah, like you said, it's against the timber, it's against an elk. It's Dying viable, it's viable. It's, it's got some value for sure. So oh. bomb lane... Oh. Whoa! Of the elk, yeah. Taz gets the first blood up there. Next Just time. level one. Frostbite into unstable concoction and... Kudo must have been blocking the camp or something, because he's still full HP, he wasn't touched. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very common story in the top lane. Anytime someone's up, they're just gonna get killed. I don't know I don't know how much they're gonna be killing people, but there's gonna be a lot of killing. Oh, oh, oh. 
Uh, doesn't really... Oh, it's ours, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just blows himself up right there. As... Oh, the Batrider actually walks back into the Acid Spray, which mm. gives a lot of free damage there. Now the Gato getting poked in Prodders. 39 actually does use his second skill to go for the boars, but obviously Nagato can easily just kill those. Actually, just the right click's doing a good job for now. Yeah, not the best coordination between the two, but it doesn't have to be. It's like, it could be enough, but it'll be enough to win you the lane. Crazy. Crazy. Hey, we should try this afterwards, me and you. Well, I mean, we're in the same server, we can play together. Holy True, crap! Just, just a few thousand uh, MMR separating us, but yeah, the, the TB nicely what? times there with the quick heal. But he's been forced all the way back to his tier 2. He can't mm. get anywhere near the creeps. He only has 3 CS here, Tomos. This ain't good. Yeah, it's not... It's such a bad lane for the Terrorblade. Like, Nyx Assassin, I will say, is still not the best laner. But against a TB, you should have a decent time with a Timber Saw uh, uh, helping you. I'm... How much CS he's got? He's got 3 CS. And he's going for Shredder, by the way, at Russell. So he's even more dangerous than, than usual. But you know the oh. good thing? Gluttony yeah. was able to farm an entire wave under the tower, so yeah. the, the Abba has CS, at He's the got very least. CS. Oh, oh maybe on top. Up. A couple of trading okay. kills, Kado goes down, a trade on towards Nagato. Core for core there. Oh, support for support, sorry. Mm. Uh, you're okay with this for advanced esports, because at least 39 got solo kill and solo and experience out of that. So you're happy with this. He got the killing blow. Oh. So it looks good for him. Overall, how's mid lane going? The DK is suffering slightly, actually, against the Pangolin. But look at that anti-healing coming out. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Oh. Really working well against uh, the, those Pangos. Oh, yeah. The ball region as well. Oof. So I'm still loving the fact that Rolling Thunder is just the facet now. I love it. Oh, you know, you know how much mm. I've always bigged this facet up, and yes. now that double jump has been nerfed to oblivion, it's, it feels yeah, good exactly. that it's a it's a real ability. I agree with you, but I feel like in games like this, where there's multiple BKB piercing abilities, Thunderbolt's actually weaker because of the lower duration. As, as uh, yeah, speaking of duration, eh, he's gonna go spend more duration in the base. Holy yeah, good shit. You know, didn't want to be on the lane of his own, so we'll follow his core to the grave as an Agato oh, yeah. will have to secure that one. To double for himself. Oh, four kills. What was it? Three kills? In the no, four kills, because one of them was a trade. So four kills in the top lane. I'm telling you, this Alk CM is so brutal. It is insanely strong. He does seem to just be farming kills right now. Very hard for the side of uh, advanced esports to deal with. I mean... I think you're gonna have to rely on a really early rotation. The DK yep. doesn't really want to do it anytime soon. The Abaddon can't leave the TB, and the TB can't rotate for shit. So, <laughs> what are they relying on up there? You actually touch on a on a decent point. If Abaddon goes top and the Batrider goes bottom, that's actually pretty damn solid of a movement. Because Abaddon, if you can shield properly, you should be able to. At least die a lot less than the, than the Batrider. Oh, look at that. I lost taking some damage. Oh, yeah, gladly. Just Oof. poking and prodding. Really is showing just the power of a, a value point into Curse of Avernus. And an Orb of Venom. He's actually got. Uh, yeah. Orb of Venom okay. as. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not enough to get killed. That's a lot of free damage either way. Pushing them back. Meanwhile, up top, the action continues. And it's actually the both uh, members of Mansa that was getting pretty low there. Nagato. Nearly dying to the return of the axes. Would have, been a Would have been a nice kill for them. He is still getting CS in the top lane. Actually, has more than Russell. So even though he's dying, he's not zoned out the lane. It's just being punished every time he goes there. Oh, well, actually, speaking of punish, Godot steps forward. He dies. They chuck the concoction over and they kill 39 as well. Like, we were looking up here two seconds ago and they were in a good spot there, Advanced Esports. Then all of a sudden, they're both dead. Yep. And uh, I'm telling you, it's not gonna get any better. Like, it, I. Oh, wait, hey, look at that. Roll in the mid lane. Boom. Oh, oh okay. Oh, it's a tanky boy, but they still find the kill. Both supports TP in. They don't change the outcome whatsoever. Uh, feels bad, man. And then if you're top lane, you're thinking, yo, guys, let's just die for the Beastmaster. The supports both left him. We can go we'll kill. He's actually. Look at how, how far they're by. They're diving. Nagato goes past the tier one, trying to find 39. 39 does the wise thing, though. He makes sure that. You know, I'm too far for you to catch. Yeah. Six minutes in, he has to go next to his... He has to get his tier 2 to, to live. 
Is that, oh, he steps forward just a uh, tiny bit. He was like, hey, look, I can kill one CS, right? Nope. That feels all right, but the immediate response will note. TP comes in from the DK, stun on towards the uh, Alchemist right now. The tower's even hitting Taz, the favoritism, and he might just go down. The slow Tomo does so much work, and they're going to be able to secure these kills. And it's, it's two killing sprees that I get picked up. That's a lot of gold. That's not, it's a pretty good, good slow, you know, it's a what, 14%? Not bad at all. And they do, they also get one of the Wisdom Ruins for themselves. I think Gluttony stole it, which is a nice move for them. It's, it's good, it's good. It's a bandage on top of the gaping wound that they're going through. And from what I know that my wife tells me she's a doctor, that's not enough. No, I don't think do more it is. It's the minor stem of the flow. He's already, he's going to got the Talisman of Evasion, by the way, and he's got 700 gold on this Alchemist. 5,000 in 7 minutes and a half is huge. I've seen 6k gold at 10 minutes. He's on the way to overtaking that. Yeah, it's pretty damn scary. Yeah, he's going to have this, if you can keep this pace going, is this Radiance is going to be online exceedingly quickly. Mm. And then it's just going to be so hard for anyone to try and play up against him, just try and hit him. Flash farm. Meanwhile, in the mid, rolling thunder use. Gluttony gonna get controlled up. Will he get kicked up to the high ground? He will not. And I love buyback, but we'll just secure the kill regardless. Meanwhile, Kido almost gets caught, but he walks out just in time. And the problem is, on advanced esports, no one's really having the same snowballing net worth that you're seeing out of the Alchemist. It is, of course, an Alchemist, so that's kind of typical, but. Like, who is going to be making space? What is 39 making? Please don't be an Acceptor. <gasps> it's an Acceptor. That's bad. That's very bad. What would you have preferred instead? Uh, maybe a pipe, honestly. Or something like that. Because an Acceptor relies on you being ahead to really be useful. It's still good. Like, even if you're behind, you can buy it. It's not for bad, but I'd rather go for a pipe to help his team in these early mid-game fights. I... Oh, oh. Yeah. Trying no to make the good do. Does have to stick charges, of course. The Gatsum that comes on in. Ooh. Little freeze yes. hold him in place. Ultimate drops. Kadok had to get the cancel. He can't quite get close enough. So he will just lose his life. DK, though, standing his ground. And maybe Russell's overstepping the mark right now. Mm. Has to be a little bit cautious about how much he commits. There are some reinforcements coming in from the left side. I love to buy back underneath an observer ward to Gluttony. Spots him out. Oh, not going to get caught there. Meanwhile, oh, gets it. we'll find it. He needs one more right click. He's not going to be able to find it, though. And he will die instead. 39 picking up that one. Much, much needed kill. I mean, if it goes the other way, it's such a punish on the Beastmaster. He's already the lowest net worth among all the cores, so it's a nice pickup for him. Overall, though, it's still... A, not sorry, Team Mansa have completely had 7,000 gold for the Alk by the 10-minute mark. Good. I, I want to say he's going to get like a 12 minute Radiance. That was like, eh, 11. That was something like, might be like 10 and a half. It could that. definitely be what, yeah, 400 gold away. He, he'd probably be able to buy the component in that time, but he might not get it delivered in time, you know? Yeah, exactly. I think he's sending, yeah, he's sending a courier. Oh, he already has a courier on it. Uh, so he's going to get it. Oh, of course. Bathroom, why not? Yeah, just to speed things up, just ever so slightly. Actually, I think the crew was greed. Did it reset? Oh, uh, 10 gold off. Uh, oh. not, it's going to be past the 10 minutes day. Oh. Oh, I would have gotten this faster. <laughs> you do everything faster. Hey. <laughs> well. No comment. Meanwhile, concoction oh. use. Taz. Oh. We'll barely be able to get that off in time, but obviously it's way too close to the tier one tower for a follow-up. Mm. Let's let him walk away. Yeah, he's being a bit active for the team. What do we have on the radiant side? Anything interesting here? Kiddo wants the blink dagger, but he's more than a thousand gold away from it, so it's not coming out. Oh dear! Okay, oh. I love to buy back. Playing very aggressive right now. In comes Isla as well. They're just gonna blow oh. him up. Free kill. Changing the target over towards Gluttony as well. Two will fall down. They drop the CM on, but immediately counter there for the flame and lasso. It's good AoE damage. The Pangolin and the Gato both will die. Now Timbersaw, maybe the one who's going to get focused up. He will take the fat down first. Now it's a two versus two.
Sun on towards the Beastmaster. 39 in danger, but Russell actually disengaged from this fight. Will be able to charge forward to finish him off. And to take him down. I love just to be able to get himself out. This DK though is such a menace. He actually killed the trees he was using to hide behind. It doesn't matter. The spike carapace keeps him safe. There is going to be a TB on the stun. Perfectly timed there to cancel the timber chain. And it's a very messy, clunky fight, but I do believe Advanced Esports actually come out ahead there. Do they? Mm, they lost four people and they got three, but in terms of gold and experience, they you are right. They actually made more, but not numerically, you know, speaking. Um, yeah. This, um, this dragon, the Frost Dragon, it's doing work. Like, it's making the Timber Saw and Alchemist actually killable in these fights. Yeah, it really is. Like... I thought with the fire one, you wouldn't be able to do any of that. Like, the Timbersaw probably would have survived and got away. It's just like, make or maybe just a really clutch decision to go with this facet. We just don't know. Uh, is it big? Is it, you know, tw 20 IQ or is it 200 IQ? We'll have to we'll always Either be way, guessing same that Either way, same result. <laughs> so, you know, maybe in danger. As Taz on the case, quick jump in from my love to buy back and just look how quickly they both die. Nothing to do. Roll the thunder used. I love to buy back. He's on the hunt. Actually, going to change his target over towards Gluttony. Poor guy. Uh, without a doubt, it's a dead about. The, they need this Abaddon to reach level six because he is just so easy to pick off until then. Yeah, I mean, it always feels bad being the support and you don't get your level six by the ten minute mark. Well, meanwhile, took about feeling bad. Tim saw danger. He's just able to get off the Sunder there. So. Now the TP struck down, but Russell will survive, turns around the chat room. They still need a little bit more damage to finish anybody off. In comes Gudo, does make the space for him to disengage. Chakram comes out, TP, barely able to survive. And it is actually the Nyx assassin to fall down there after all that fight. Meanwhile, mids, oh, the DK is actually picked up. Yep, nothing you can do. Uh, they just jump on him, multiple stuns in control, and he loses his life. But that was really nice by Mr. Terror Blade. You know, that Falcon Blade strength power press coming in clutch, keeping them alive, gets the Sunder off, and they are able to get something for their troubles. But uh, still, like, they, there's always a but, you know? It's like, oh, it's, oh, it's a nice move, but you're so far behind, it makes no, no, almost no difference. Yeah. I mean, 39, he was able to secure his Wisdom Rune, but unfortunately, it does cost but, his life at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. It's that dreaded word, and it seems to be the real thorn in the side of Advanced Esports. While Taz, you know, as well as having that really early Radiance, he's got a Blink Dagger online. He's working on the Manta style next, which he's probably going to have extremely quickly as well. As he steals away a double stack on the Ancients there. It's just, it's just going all his way. He's having a dream game. He's lapping the, uh, the enemy cores, by the way. More than double them in terms of net worth. Um, well... We'll see how it's gonna go here. In the meantime, for advanced esports, you do have level six on the Abaddon. That is gonna make him a lot more of a force in these fights. And Blink Dagger on Kudo, he's needed this. So many times I see him try to get the lasso, but he's just he's too far. Here comes the reveal. Yeah, Love to back. get the jump though. He backs out. <laughs> Easily avoided. Well, I mean, we still haven't revealed the Blink Dagger. Right? Give it, give him a moment. He's actually. The most farmed support in this game, the Kiddo. That's a, a very impressive achievement, honestly. Yeah, it's good, especially we consider being the team as well that's 11,000 uh, gold behind. That's a pretty big impact, but you know, Cast but, Curse is a real thing, Otomo. Yeah. <laughs> you talk about him, you just get him killed. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy, like, he has his big day, he wants to show it off and just loses it instantly like that. Meanwhile, Alchemist continues to be doubling the net worth of everyone, of all the other cores. In fact, I think you can, you, yeah, you can put two cores of the, on the Radiant side together and they still wouldn't match up to the Alchemist. Yeah, he's just a real monster. He's even going for an Orchid, actually, as his next item. Just the silence control and there's just no Manstow online yet for the TB to get himself out of that one. He's still a thousand gold off. Just perfectly timed item pickup to find a free kill. Okay, and Gluttony, okay. at the very least, he does have his uh, level 6, so up, he's going to be able to waste some time. Okay. But, uh, that's all it is. But, it's a waste of time. And he dies anyway, right? 
If you are no, going... uh, okay. but then although... Russell has been caught. <laughs> so they are able to get an actual favorable trade there, taking up all that's huge. However, a jump oh, from Taz, and they have found the DK regardless. It's still decent to trade the Terra Blade. Sorry, the Timber Soft or the Dragon Knight. Oh, Moreover. The 39 has been caught, and he will find, in conjunction, Tugado falling down. However, <laughs> the one has been dived onto the tier 3, although oh, Tans is forced to disengage. Yeah. Hey, right, are we, are we going to get a break from the non-stop bloodshed? It's actually a better game for his boss than the previous one. They were... 5 and 30 when the game ended, now they're 9 to 25. So, better. Yeah. I, Unfor what, uh. what, yeah, what was the gold difference though at 17 and a half minutes? I feel like it wasn't As... 14k. <laughs> it's an alchemist, you know, so it's very inflated. Oh, yeah. this could be big. Jump yeah. on towards Russell. There is going to be the Rolling Thunder there from I Love to Buy Back. Trying to make the space. Russell's able to get off towards Ooh. the side, but it's still not enough to keep him going. As he will die. Pangolin no just roar. focused on towards the TB, but there is going to be there the Thunder. In comes Taz, though. Can he clean this one up? I don't think he can. Nice He's going to have to disengage. It's two against four right now. There is no Ooh, assassin slow. nearby to help out. There's a Blink Dagger forward. Able to get the there's Dragon the Tail stolen off. Taz, though, he's still pretty healthy. Maybe they could try and turn around onto one of these people. So there's an assassin comes in the back lines, and he actually finds a freebie there on towards the TB. Taz now jumps in on towards the DK, but he's too damn tanky. Instead, 39 will be the casualty of choice. And it looks good there from Advanced Don't Esports, but unfortunately, they just overplayed their hand. It's still okay overall. You know, you trade for two for two. You look at it in terms of gold, they got twice as much gold as they had besides from doing that. So any even trade for advanced esports, no, just by numbers, doesn't even matter what positions they are, you're still very happy with them. So kudos to them. That went actually pretty well for them. As top, I'm, I'm thinking about Roche, doesn't seem like it. Uh, Nagato, unfortunately, see, I'm not quite able to solo Roche at the stage of the game. Meanwhile, Tim, yeah, TB has been caught. Signs is there, but there is going to be the immediate purge. But the Thunder's still not being used. He's holding on to it for a really long time. Jump forwards. Rolling what Thunder, and he's just dead. Cool Wait, down. Cool down, buddy. Oh, he's cool down, cool down, buddy. I, I've forgotten yeah. it's two minutes. What a ridiculous amount of cooldown that is. But everybody just dies regardless of Tomo. Triple kill going the way I love to buy that. Because uh, when you were saying it, I was like, maybe he thinks it's about to come out. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like, like 50 seconds left. And oh, okay, that's a GG call. Kido is like, yeah, we've, we've had enough fun for today. Yeah, fun was definitely the word that I would use. Maybe not for the side of advanced esports, but regardless, it was a very interesting game. <laughs> it was. By the way, for throughout all this, I want 